Hi there, Shadi Bazzi here, and uh, today I'm going to talk to you about the importance of, you know, being in the right environment and what an impact that has on your overall success, short term and long term, whether it be for that day, that week, that month, etc. You know, you've heard the saying that you are a product of your environment, meaning if you are in a negative environment, that impacts you negatively. If you are in a positive environment, that is going to impact you positively. Now, you've also heard that who you are is the average of the five closest people to you, meaning, you know, you you can take the, uh, you know, five people that you hang out with the most and, you know, you could add up all their incomes and divide that by five. And that's most likely what your average income will be each and every single year. Now, if you're hanging around, if you're not a millionaire and your five best friends are millionaires, guess what? You're going to pick up millionaire habits. You're going to start thinking as these people think. You're going to start doing as these people do. And then you're going to be, you know, producing similar results as these people do because you're a product of your environment. If, if everyone in your environment is moving in this direction, guess what's going to happen? You are going to be moving in that direction. Now, if you're hanging out with, let's say your goal is to lose weight. And you're hanging out with people that want to have, you know, burger and fries and a soda for lunch each and every single day. Guess what? You're going to be hanging out with these people and you're going to be doing the same exact things that they're doing. And then you are going to be the overweight person that you don't want to be. Nothing against overweight people or anything like that. I'm just giving you an example. So you are the average of the five closest people to you. So choose the five closest uh, people to you very, very, very wisely. So here's what I would advise you to do. Grab a piece of paper. Put a line in the middle from top to bottom. On the left hand side, write down the names of all the people that you know personally and hang out with who you feel are people that you know support you and people who are moving in the direction that you want to move in. And on the other side, put down the names of the people who have certain habits. Uh, that you don't want to pick up on or maybe not moving in the direction that you are trying to move in and That right there will give you a clear indication of which people you should be spending more time with and which people you should be Spending less time with and I know you're probably saying Shadi, but some of these people are my family members Yes, I you know I have family members who you know are either moving like this or moving like this And you know my goal is to continue to move like this So does that mean that I cut these people out of my life? Absolutely not I love them all equally the people that are going this way and the people this way and the people this way I love them all equally is just that I spend more time with the people who are going like this, a little bit less time with the people who are going like this, and definitely a lot less time with the people who are going in the opposite direction that I am trying to get into. So that's number one, you are a product of your environment. Now let's take this environment conversation a step further. What about the environment that you are in when you are all alone by yourself? Meaning, your car. Your car, I mean, that's an environment. I mean, you're sitting in a car, that's an environment. Is your car clean? Does your car have maybe visual? Does your car have a good scent? Does your car make you feel good, etc.? So that right there is your environment. Okay, so clean up your car, you know, have some good music playing in your car or good positive audio programs because that's your environment and you are a product of your environment. What about your office? What about your office? I mean, you want to you definitely want to set up your office in a way where when you walk into your office, you feel like you are walking into your future. You feel like you are living inside of that vision right there then. Your office should be should definitely have you know, pictures and visuals of certain things that inspire you, certain things that, you know, correct your mentality when your mentality is not right. You know, for example, you may have a picture of someone that you strive to be like. It could be an athlete, it could be a rock star, whoever, someone that you look up to. You know, maybe it's your mentor. And maybe during that time that you're having a bad day or something just isn't going your way, you see that picture and you get to ask yourself the question, what would he or she do if they were facing the same obstacle that I'm facing right now. See, your environment, that picture is a part of your environment and that picture in that moment just corrected the kind of questions you should be asking yourself to produce better outcomes. So, you are a product of your environment and you are the average of the five closest people that you hang out with more often. So, do the exercise I gave you. Love to hear your thoughts about it. Leave a comment right below this video and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.